Hey, one thing I forgot to show you when I did the multigroup analysis video is uh, an invariance, uh, measurement invariance test. So I'm just going to append that right here. Um, if I have a model like this and I want to do a multigroup analysis, which I've shown in another video, I click on MGA, I select my multiple groups. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do low frequency is group A, high frequency is group B. You could select whatever you want. And in the other video, I show you how to set this up. Um, when you're doing a, an invariance test, a measurement invariance test, select factor because that's what we're going to be focusing on. And um, you can change the bootstrap settings if you like. Ideally, we're at minimum of 2,000. Um, some say minimum of 5,000. Start this. Hope it goes faster. It's got a lot. It's got to run. So here we go. And done. Hopefully, hopefully. Boom. All right. That was a lot to calculate. So what we want to do is we want to jump right over to um, the outer loadings. I, I choose loadings because I have all reflective factors. If you have formative factors, you may want to choose weights instead. Or if you have both, you're going to have to look at both. Since I only have loadings, I'm going to look at those. You don't need to look at this tab for the invariance test. What you want to do is click over here to the PLS MGA. And what that's going to show you is the outer loadings differences across groups. So, for example, for efficacy one, the indicator loading, it is different between men and women, or known as high frequency, low frequency, excuse me, um, at this much. That's a fairly large difference. Now the question is, is that difference significant? The answer is no, it's borderline. That's a p-value right there. Uh, we look down here, it looks like there's one right here, efficacy five. Um, is different uh, statistically speaking so that's a problem let's remember that one efficacy five looking down here i'm just looking for anything less than 0.05 i don't see anything else so we are uh, invariant um, with regards to low frequency and high frequency in terms of our measurement model except for this item right here efficacy five now since this is part of a, a part of a reflective factor i don't feel too bad just deleting it um, so i'm going to delete efficacy five and then that should put us over the uh, over the fence. So if I run this again, I'm going to run this in fast speed and look straight over at those loadings again, outer loadings, MGA, and scroll down and looking for anything less than 0.05. And there is nothing less than 0.05, so we are invariant uh, at the measurement or for the measurement model. So now we can go and look at these path coefficients and look at the differences between um, between male or low frequency and high frequency. Turns out in this model we only have one major difference. It's uh, the effect of innovation on skill acquisition. It is different between low and high frequency. But now that we, now that we've done the invariance test, we can say with confidence that there is an effect going on that is due to trait differences rather than due to measurement differences. Hope that helps.